Hello, this is Curse Railroads, and welcome to your one, two, three, fourth tutorial on uh, trains content creation with GMAX. And uh, to this tutorial, we'll be working on uh, the creation of complex shapes, which is a follow-up to our uh, previous tutorial. Um, we, were, we were looking at some of the basic shapes. Um, so complex shapes are basically everything possible outside of the basic shapes I showed you. And I'll show you how to use some basic tools for creating some complex shapes. Um, to get started, let's, uh, let's draw a plane. Um, if you don't know what a plane is, please watch my previous tutorial. And we're going to want to modify it so that it's t 10 feet square. And it has three length segments and three width segments. Now, when you had that created... What I want you to do is I want you to right-click in the middle of it and convert it to an editable poly. Now that it's an editable poly, you, are at, you have access to several tools, which will allow you to select points by vertex, edge, border, if there's a hole, um, well, there's the outside border, you can click on it, by polygon, And by element, which would be the whole damn thing. Um, <laughs> excuse me, pardon my French, but um, well, you can do a lot. You can with uh, these particular tools. Um, like if I just want to select the middle, I can move the middle around, and um, then we can work on. We, we can use some of these uh, geometry tools. So let's say we wanted to um, just make like a bump coming out in the middle. Like, that would be, you could, uh, extrude it, and look at that. You just create a complex shape. Or you could, uh, bevel it, and you could change the outline, which would allow, you could make, like, a pyramid in the middle of it, or you could have it come out a bit. If you wanted this to be like, uh, like that. And, um, then, of course, you can select these individuals' edges, and you can extrude them out, and bevel them, and, um, you can extrude them out, and create the same kind of deal, and the, s the sky's the limit from there, really. Like, you can, you can go to insane levels of, um, of, uh, shape modification. Um, so let's, let's trash this, uh, this plane, and let's create, uh, a cylinder. Now this cylinder, we're gonna want it to be We're gonna want this cylinder uh, to be three foot radius with a height of six feet, and let's convert it to a editable poly again, and start playing with the vertexes, the vertices. Sorry, um, and you'll see now that each vertice is denoted by a blue dot, and you can select vertices in, like this, in groups, and then you can allow, uh, then you can start to mess around with them like that, like, uh, if I wanted to, uh, scale them down and create kind of a, uh, this kind of a shape like that, have, uh, have it s go down. And let's say we wanted to make uh, like a like a vase, like a like a vase, fancy uh, kind of thing. You could select the uh, polygon up here and extrude it up, and then extrude it again like this. But let's have it neck out like that, and that will be. 
There's there you have a fancy vase like shape. And uh, then of course you can also edit by moving around vertices uh, one at a time. Like let's say I wanted to just take this one and there you put like a fancy like lip on it. Like that. By uh, just messing around with that single vertice. There now it's got like this awkward lip on. And the the possibilities are endless, um, really. You can, uh, using the polygon selection tool, you can select a whole area and, uh, extrude. And, um, it's, all, all shapes really, um, come from, uh, from this. And then there's one more way of making shapes that I would like to show you, which would be, um, Oh, and of course, you can also select polys and delete them. So if you wanted to create, like, some fancy, like, thing that can delete individual polys from the from the model. And, um... Then there's one more way of making shapes, um, really. And what you can do is you can use the splines. And let's see, I wanted to make, like, some arc kind of shape. Like this. I wanted to use that as a, uh, as like a, like a curved section. What I could do is I could apply the extrusion modifier, the extrusion, sorry, modifier, and, um, what that would allow you to do is it would add, uh, it would, it would place it and it would iterate it out, um, from that point, and you would have this curved, like, shape thing which you could convert into a editable poly and then be able to mess around with more with like the individual uh, vertices like oh oh wow shoot ah the keyboard just spazzed out on me but what I but um that is uh about that about wraps up this tutorial, and um, feel free to play around in your installation, and, uh, see what kind of things you can create, and, um, I'll catch you next time. Oh, this is, uh, Curse Railroads. Stay tuned for the next tutorial.